Welcome to Lake Show RV. I'll be showing you through your torque today. On the very front, you're going to have your tongue jack with the on and off switch for the light, as well as the extend and retract switch. Right past it, you're going to have two 30 pound LP tanks, both full. Regulator's going to be at right in the middle here. You're going to have a little black knob that's going to show you what tank you're using. You point it to this way, you're going to use this tank. Point it to this way, you're going to use this tank. On the back side, there will be a little gauge. If it's red, that tank is empty. If it's green, the tank is full. Right past it, you're going to have a 12 volt battery here. Here you're going to have your cap lights. I'll show you how to turn those on and off. Coming on the driver's side here, you're going to have your generator in the first compartment. You're going to have, you're going to have two breakers here. You're going to want to make sure you're unplugged before you start the generator. You're going to push and hold prime for three seconds, push and hold start for three seconds. If it don't start, repeat process. Um, you may have to hold it down a little longer. Right next to this compartment here, you're going to have three stickers. These three stickers have your VIN, your model, as well as your tire information on it right here. <clears throat> right below, you're going to have the exhaust for the generator. Now your poles for your sewage or your tanks. Here's your black tank pole. It's going to be right underneath the first slide. On the driver's side then the connection for the front bathroom <clears throat> is going to be right in the middle right in front of the actual that's also going to have the gray pull right to the right so right in front of the axle the gray pole is right on the right side you're going to have refrigeration condensation line here you're going to have satellite and cable input. Right below it, you're going to have a rear bathroom connection. There is the valve for that rear bathroom. Here you're going to have the 50 amp hookup. Unleaded fuel inlet. So this is also unleaded fuel. You're going to, when you fill this tank, you're also going to use, use that same fuel to run your generator. So just know if you're filling quads all day, you're using the fuel to uh, run a generator also um, right here to turn on the auxiliary nozzle that's inside this compartment is here right on the back side you have a drop down door um, the ramp porch with two three white lights all the uh, on the back side here these are controlled from the panel inside. Marble line two, please. Marble line two. So here on the passenger side, rear, you're going to have a switch by the base. You're going to have one of these switches on the front and rear. These are, are going to control the stabilizers. This switch is going to control both rear stabilizers. So you'll just push and hold, extend. Both legs will come down. The other one's going down, and then as soon as it hits ground, this one's going down. And then, just remember, these are not made to lift your unit. They're just made to stabilize it. Right, the hole right next to the right here is going to be, there will be a rod inside the pass-through that, that you'll use to crank down your spare tire. Garage axis here. Passenger side is where your hookup's going to be for your water. Your inlet for your tank to fill the tank on the unit is going to be here. City water connection using the flow and the pressure off the water, you off the water hose, you just connect in here. Right below it, you're going to have two black tank flushes. And these black tank flushes, just remember to have your valves open and connected to the ground. If not, you are going to have a big mess if the black tank is full because you're putting more fluid into that tank. So just know you're connected to the ground and your valves are open before you put water hoses to the black tank flush. Right to the right, you're gonna have an outdoor spray nozzle. Connection, the blue hose will be inside your pass-through. Uh, just an outlet here. Outdoor entertainment here, you're gonna have a TV, your fridge, uh, 
these just know these bigger items are not going to work unless you're connected to shore power you're going to have a propane stove top here with a uh, sink that has hot and water just know this does not have a drain on it so you'll have to lift and dump it this connection uh, it's just like an air hose you just push down on the coupling and lift up just put it in the sink for transport here we have your water heater right above it you're gonna have your uh, furnace exhaust so just know anything up uh, leaning up against it could catch on fire it gets extremely hot here's that front switch for the front stabilizer jacks on your unit here again these are are going to control both both of them at the same time but just push and hold until they're both down inside this little pass-through compartment here you're going to have a 30 to 15 amp adapter as well as a 30 to 50 amp adapter a sewer hose here are your two rods that I was talking about. you got this one that will override the stabilizer jacks there uh, on the driver's side if you look at the stabilizer you will figure it out connect this end on it and hand crank it this one goes for the spare tire that hole I was talking about right to the right here you're gonna have your battery disconnect here Go ahead and go inside your unit. Inside your unit, right to the right here is going to be your control panel. These are going to be buttons that these little <clears throat> circles are going to be buttons to show you your levels. You're going to push and hold, and that's going to show you your levels on your unit. So, um, right to the right, you're going to have your water pump switch as well as your water heater here two cabin lights these are going to be the inside ceilings um all the, all the other ones you're going to have to manually turn off there's going to be switches or they're going to be push buttons in the center here you're going to have cap lights this is going to be the white lights on the very front of your unit the led strips you're going to have an awning light or a porch light now you only can have one or the other so if you want the porch light that uh, almost like a tan light or a yellow light, you're going to push it all the way up, middle, turn it off. You're going to have two aux lights. These are going to be the LED lights on the back side of your camper. Here's going to be your slide control here. Right to the right, you're going to have your awning as well. Right below it, you're going to have a thermostat. These thermostats you'll see located throughout your unit. Um, depending on how many ACs you have, you'll, you'll, you'll push to acknowledge, push again to turn it to fan, push it again to turn it to AC, push it again for furnace, push it again for off, up and down to control the temp you want it to be at. Right below here, you're going to have your breakers and fuses. You run in and you run into any problems make sure you look there first big note when you are closing this slide make sure at all times this bathroom door is shut again when you're bringing this slide in make sure that that bathroom door is shut otherwise this door is gonna hit with the couch Okay, we're going to start from the master bedroom and work our way to the garage. So, master bedroom here. Here, right above the driver's side on the master bed, you're going to have a, a generator control there. You will be able to start your generator from inside your unit. You have uh, manual light switches. So, you're going to see these ones throughout your unit a lot. These kind where there's a switch right on the on the side there. This one has a USB charger on it. You can have one on the pa on the passenger side too, with a black uh, black switch there. That black switch is going to control the LED light above your head. 
Now to control the, sw the light in above, there's a light switch right to the left when you walk in the door. Manually open fan with a uh, fan control there on and off. Going into your master, into the bedroom or bathroom, sorry. Bathroom is pretty self explanatory. You're going to have a GFI breaker right to the left of the sink. Um, right to the left when you walk inside your bathroom you're gonna have a light switch as well as a fan control switch these fan control switches control the fan right above the bathroom toilet here you're, you're gonna see that these these lights here you can see these throughout your unit is gonna be like a little tap light it has a button dead center of the light you'll push to turn it on the LED strip above here, it's controlled by the LED, the switch here. So now there's no LED on. Now there is. These four four lights are all manual, button in the center. In your kitchen. Your keys are around your sink. You're gonna have a JBL uh, sound system. So right to the left here, this is gonna be a subwoofer. Your subwoofer control is gonna be here. Um, how how much bass you want? A is here's your JBL system. You're gonna have zones. Your zones are here. You're gonna have A, B, C. Um, a is going to be inside, B is going to be outside, C is going to be that subwoofer. Um, right above it, you're going to have the TV hookup area. You're going to have a manual light here. Microwave is going to be your best indicator if you have shore power. If the microwave is up and working, you're running off your generator or you're connected to shore power. Right below here, where you got the your stove. Right to the far right, you're going to have LEDs on it. Push it all the way down. You're going to have the knobs as well as inside the oven light. Push it all the way up. You're going to have just the LED backs. Even if it's off and you turn it on, this knob's going to turn red. So you'll know if you accidentally hit it. Even if the light's off, it will automatically turn red if it's on. During transport, Place the glass down in the downward posi position. Here to your right, you're going to have on off switch. On off switch is going to be right above the cabinet. Refrigerator. Refrigerator is going to be a propane or short power. As soon as you disconnect from short power, it's going to automatically switch to propane if it's on auto. Um, on and off switches on the left. In the garage here, you're going to have a light switch right to the left as soon as you walk in the door. Um, then you got a bed lift control. I'll go through that in a minute. You're going to have another thermostat. You have another AC back here, so you'll be able to control the AC in this garage. TV hookup. Here, as well as the bracket sticker. Here, right past this door, we're going to have the back bathroom. With the light switch right to the left here. Bed lift control. Now, this bed, there's a bed, as well as a couch here. To bring down this bed, you need to use this couch to guide down this bed. If you if you guide down this couch or guide, if you bring down this couch all the way down and you pull these pins right here without having the couch here, this is gonna that bed's gonna fall and hit you in the head. So make sure this couch is all the way in the upward position as it looks now. You'll pull these pins here. There's one at each corner. That that couch is gonna guide this bed down. 
until the bed gets halfway you'll see the little knobs in the tracks here where the where that bed's actually going to stop just just remember use the couch to guide down that bed that bed's not on a chain system so it will gravity will come down right below here you're going to have the carpet as well as a table to set up in between the two couches after you get them down to the ground right to the right you're going to have a a box here you're gonna have your fire extinguisher as well as your uh, your poles for right in front of your your uh, couch there tabletop for that's gonna be right here you have your 50 amp cord I hope you enjoy uh, do a lake shore and enjoy your camper thank you